Call of Duty Black Ops 2 is only a few tons of hours away, but it's about to be released in America. Unlike our Eastern European friends who got it leaked out early, and then all my friends in Canada who got to play it early as well. Not to mention the stores that are selling it early regardless just to make a quick buck. But what does this mean for the Call of Duty franchise? What does this mean for Modern Warfare 3? Which honestly was probably the worst Call of Duty I've played since Call of Duty 3. It means more bullshit. It means more frustration, more anger, and, well, maybe a little bit more fun. Now, last year you've watched my videos, and you know what? Honestly, thank you for watching, because guess what? We got more fucking shit coming to you guys! Oh, yeah! Black Ops 2's about to fucking hit, and Dan Harkins is gonna go right into that shit so fucking hard. Oh, I'm fucking excited. You know how excited I fucking am? Let me tell you, I don't know a goddamn thing about Black Ops 2 besides it takes place in the future. I literally haven't read a goddamn thing about this game. Now, some people say, well, Dan Harkins, why haven't you actually took any time to see what's going on? And you know what? I don't want to get fucking spoiled. To be quite honest, I want to have that, what I call the Christmas feeling. And that's when you wake up and you open your gifts, you're just so fucking ecstatic, you're happy, it's all new. You see, when you're spoiling all these games for you, when you open it, you kind of know what you're going to get into. I mean, granted, Call of Duty doesn't change that much, but with Treyarch, they at least try to fucking change shit up. And I'm actually really fucking just, I can't wait to play this game. But, you know, for the last, like, year, all I heard was people complaining that... It's going to the future. Oh, I don't like the future. That's not what I want to play. You know, these whiny pussy ass bitches that all they do is cry about how Call of Duty should change, then it does fucking change, then they get mad because there's change. Does that make sense to you? The answer is no. It doesn't make a goddamn lick of sense. If you want change, you have to accept that things aren't going to be the same. That's the whole fucking reason you want change. I mean, take Madden. Does Madden really change a lot? Now, a lot of people who don't fucking play Madden are going to say, uh, no, it's the same game. But granted, there's a bunch of different little tweaks to the game, and that changes, changes it up. Makes it a little bit more fresh. And that's kind of the feeling I have for Black Ops 2. Now, when I think about Modern Warfare 3, I think of how fucking annoying this game was. One of my biggest complaints for this game was, besides explosive damage, which I've mentioned multiple times, uh, was the revenge spawn system. It was just atrocious in this game, and let me tell you, it fucked not just me, people. Did not just fuck me, but it probably fucked you on a few kill streaks. Nothing like being at 17, 18, maybe 22, and then having the enemy spawn right behind you, directly behind you, and shooting you down. That was fucking bullshit. Now, there's a few cool things that I think Mono for 3 did. One of them was the support streak and specialist package. Now, I think the support streak could have been done a little bit differently. Um, a lot of people complain about the stealth bomber and how the support streak shouldn't kill people, and it is, it is fucking stupid. I mean, come on. If you're a fucking good player, none of that shit really matters. They just get mad because, you know, they're fucking sitting in the corner and the stealth bomber comes out of nowhere and kills them. I don't know. I'm just assuming that they're just a bunch of pussy-ass campers. But if you weren't and you still complained about support streaks, well, that's your opinion. This is my opinion, and honestly, I don't really give a fuck about yours. The specialist package was an awesome fucking idea, but the best thing was really the trophy system. That thing was fucking awesome, people. Um, and I, I'm glad it's making its return. But overall, the game just felt bland. Mono for 3 wasn't as fun as previous Call of Duty's. And I think it's because it was Frankenstein together. The 
the whole fallout of Infinity Ward and having the Sledgehammer Studios come in, you know, they tried their best, people. They, they really did, but it, it didn't work out well. But, you know, this gives me hope for the next installment when they work on it. Now, if you guys don't know, Treyarch did Call of Duty 3, which was really, really fucking terrible. But, I know I say that, but I actually enjoyed the campaign. That game was done in a little of nine months. That's, uh, that's pretty decent. So, I think having more time, that the next Call of Duty is going to be really really something. I'm hoping, if they take some fucking cues from Treyarch, I know it's funny, you know, two years ago everyone says, well, Treyarch's a pretty shitty company and they fucking suck and Infinity Ward is the best. You know, stupid shit that dumb people say all the time because they need to side with one company. A good game's a good game. It doesn't fucking matter who makes it. Unless it's THQ a few years back. No, what's, what's Take Two? Take Two. They made Spec Ops. Uh, one of the worst games I've ever played on the PlayStation 1. And I wish I took that $10 and instead of buying that, just bought candy. That would have been a better use of the rush. Well, it's a new season of Dan Harkins content, people. I know I've been out of it, and that's because I just don't fucking want to play the game. But with Black Ops 2, we're probably going to see a little bit more of Dan Harkins. Maybe do a little new stuff, add some cool effects. But, actually, I'm probably going to do the same shit I've done for the last two years. Uh, bare minimum of any work and me just talking over it. There will be complaining about Indians, black people, politics, and just bitching, complaining, being racist, sexist, and offending people as much as possible. So let's have a good new gaming year. Dan Arkansas, have a great day.